Hi, I'm Beetlejuice from Reddit's Wicked Edge, and this has been a long, miserable week. I have been testing the um, triple blade um, offering from one of the more popular manufacturers out there, and uh, if you've been following along, this has become the Sinead and Freud, um, series as far as I can tell. Uh, the majority of the entertainment has been my misery to the rest of the group. So this is the last day and I struggled with this one because again how to quantify it shaving closer. Some of this is subjective, some of it is feel. Um, I will tell you that Lady Beetlejuice is uh, not impressed. And uh, has part of foot down, I do have to take a break before I step into the five blade um, cartridge uh, tests before uh, yeah, she's just she's worried I'm doing too much damage. As you can see, uh, most of the razor bumps have uh, faded. Um, the other thing that I was having trouble with is how do you quantify this? I you know there's that silly little card scratch test. Um, uh, dragging a cotton ball over the face. There's a whole bunch of stuff. The only thing that I can think is from a measurement standpoint. Do I get stubble in the sink after? So I have to shave with one system, then the other. Even a left-right comparison is not really going to work because of the way that I shave. I'm holding my hand at a different angle. I do know that it's a little different on this side than it is on this. So There's a dozen different variables at play here, and none of them are going to make life easy for a absolutely um, non-subjective test. But... At least with the stubble, I have a result. So, without further ado, I'm going to do a two-pass shave. One with the grain, one against the grain, with the system. I'm then going to follow it up, and somebody pointed this out yesterday, the razor that I used, the Mirror Future, this bad boy, is an aggressive razor. It's an open floating body. It's notoriously hard to get a good shave out of because it'll it suffers no fools. It will eat you alive. It's very very um, aggressive. I don't want to say harsh because it's not harsh. Fat boy. And that's a setting of four, which is where I use it most comfortably. And what I'm trying to do is show how I'm shaving, how you shave will be different, you may get a different result. So, with all the caveats, boilerplate, warnings, and everything else in play, I'm a professional idiot. Please keep that in mind as you watch the show. Popcorn, now. The, the liquefied Smurf. That just smells lovely. I hate the smell of this stuff. I'm also putting myself at a bit of a risk. I've stated it before, menthol. Menthol is almost acting like an anesthetic, so you wind up, or at least I wind up, being incapable of determining uh, if I've got damage going on. And this video is going to take a little longer because I have to do a double uh, setup. So, bear with me. All right, so I'm gonna get away. Wouldn't want to, you know, get a bad shave out of this. Yeah. And of course, the company responsible for this claims that at least the fusion blades should last about a month each. Well. This has only been six days. I will tell you that this thing has degraded.
Now, this is where I stopped yesterday. However, and that's the recommended crap a inch. That's the recommended Gillette stopping point. So, we are now in the territory you should not be in. And you know, after I figured it out, it's probably almost eight, if not coming up on nine years of wet shaving. And a hell of a lot longer running an electric. Um, the act of putting soap or foam on my face with my hands is just downright weird. Uh, round two. <laughs> it doesn't even feel like it's cutting anymore. I think it's just annoying the beard at this point. I can see where somebody would think that it's coming in thicker. Okay. I can't tell you how glad I am to get rid of this thing. So, with that joy out of the way, level the playing field again. This can't be good for my face. And so you know, there is stubble in the sink. It is it is performing the function. So again, same as yesterday, I've opted to eliminate the vinegar. It didn't really knock it down the way that I was hoping it would for uh, knocking the foam down. And today I've also got some white paper towel. It's going to get a coffee filter, but I think we'll probably do okay with the uh, paper towel. So this is Mitchell's Wool Fat. Same soap that you saw me use yesterday, same brush. Get some water back on this. It's probably going to be this. I will say this, there is one serious advantage to the system. Um, I don't believe you can actually nick yourself with it unless you do this. So. I'm trying very, very hard to remember. Well, I'll be damned. Look at that. You can't cut yourself with a cartridge. Well, it feels better now. Well, I was pretty sure I was going to draw blood with this. So. I just realized something kind of funny. This is... Uh, so the Gillette versus Gillette shootout. If anybody from Gillette Marketing happens to be watching this video, here's a thought. 
the super speeds, the fat boys, stuff like that. Reissue this stuff. There's a market for it. You've still got the patents. You probably still have the molds sitting somewhere. Hmm. Maybe I should have put the vinegar in there. So, that's not providing a whole ton of care on that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know how. I don't know where the hell that came from. I think I got that close to my beard. Um, yeah, there's a ton of stuff in here. Uh, let's see. And of course, like I did yesterday, I will put up a um, more detailed photo of this result. Clever plan, yeah, not working quite so well. It's a gigantic wad of foam on top of this. I'm also going to have to go over the tape and figure out what the hell, because I do not remember shaving that much off my beard. But. Um, look past the long pieces. See the little tiny ones? Yeah. At least for me, and again, once this dries out I will post a more detailed photo. But, um, yeah. This harkens back to Sorry, I'm just trying to get this in a position where it's not going to fall off the counter because I'm not doing that twice. So, there you go. It's not... <laughs> Triple? Closer? Not on a bet. Not even. Oh wait, I have a card. Ooh. Let's see. Mm. Shaves almost as well too. <sighs> yeah, that's why I didn't want to do the card test. It's just it's too subjective. Um oh, the hell with it. You guys might as well you stuck it out this long, you might as well have the real joy. Let me slather on a little allen block for you. Watch the eyes. This is where you're going to find out how much damage I did. <clears throat> um, yeah. In honor of um, the rest of development coming back to new, s new episodes. I've made a huge mistake. That hurts. A lot. Well, I'm going to go and treat that bleeder. Dry this out and I will mm, post this video and that uh, picture to Reddit. So, um, to steal from another TV show, is the Mach 3 closer than a double edge? Busted.
Anyway, if uh, Mythbusters would like to take a more professional swing at this, I'd be happy to act as a technical advisor. And other than that, uh, stay tuned. Um, you'd be surprised some of the stuff I got waiting in the wings. Uh, we, of course, have the ultimate enemy coming up in the uh, probably two weeks. Start looking for that. I'll uh, take on the uh, Mach 5. I mean, the fusion vector, whatever the hell it is, thing. Anyway, till next time, I am a very uncomfortable Beetlejuice for Reddit's Wicked Edge. Keep them sharp.